hello and welcome to heel charm shine today's video is about uh, will you reconcile it is only for those who are hoping to get back with their uh, with their ex or with the partner with whom they stopped talking for some reason or got separated or are uh, at a distance nor some kind of fight or some kind of uh, misunderstanding happened and now they are not talking with each other so whoever is trying to get back with their with the same person they were earlier be an ex or just on a break so for them this reading is it is not about those who are interested in new people and don't want to get back with their exes for those who are interested in new people i have a lot of other love readings so you can check that out and for those who are interested to get back with their with the same person they were earlier Uh, you can select the piles which are one, two, or three. I have just put the number over here. Uh, the piles are not ready. I'm going to shuffle on on camera, and we are going to find out what the spirits have to say about your situation. And uh, I hope you enjoy the reading. And do let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you in in the pile. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, pile number one. let's see if you will reconcile with your person the person in your mind your ex or the or uh, your partner with whom you are not in contact right now due to some misunderstanding some fight something went wrong and now you want to make sure want to know that will will they come back will your relationship be like it was earlier so let's see uh, what do you, will you reconcile this was a requested uh, reading and uh, this is not for those who are interested in finding new love for them there are other readings on my channel so please check that out let's see what the the angels have to say angels please let me know will the pile one reconcile with the pile one get back with their person let's see what these cards are oh oh queen and uh, the moon of queen of pentacle and the moon wow okay so the moon is about something is hidden some kind of information some information is you are not aware of it yet maybe there was some some lying involved maybe there was something some kind of gossiping involved which which created a kind of misunderstanding or some kind of fight in your mind this moon face looks angry so someone heard something or came to know something something came to light which created a kind of barrier in between you both of you and that that has created some kind of distance so that might be a reason that something came to light or something which was hidden something some kind of lies even some kind of fear which came up some kind of other issues like anxiety something came to light which created a drift between you two and the queen of pentacles is actually a good sign to get because the queen of pentacles is about someone who is nurturing practical and she and this person or you are financially stable maybe both of you are and this also talks about a single parent so maybe you already are a parent maybe you already have a child with this person and you are trying to handle this your finances and your child on your own so this might be something like a divorce or a separation and you are uh, holding the fort you are being strong you are earning your money you are trying your best to be supportive to be nurturing to be prac and you are very you are practically trying to handle this situation but now you want to know that will you get back with your person okay this is something which is long term a long term relationship and this was a long term investment so your person is also thinking about this your person is thinking that if this that in a long term whatever happened will that matter whatever the issue was whatever the problem was between you both will that matter on a long long term basis on after many years after this time period has gone will that matter they also want their queen they also want to be back with you they are also thinking about the good old days they are wondering about what went wrong 
and how they can handle the situation they might even be thinking about investments maybe they are financially uh, trying to make up a good position or trying to be at a financially strong position so that they can when they come back they have a strong backing they want to come back with something which you will find that yes you yes you can accept them maybe they think that you are better off without them maybe they think that you are really doing good or they are not good enough for you and maybe they think that if they come back you will not accept them so that might be a uh, some the miscommunication between you two that you are waiting for them to make a make a move and they think that if they make a move you will reject them so that might be a situation which you can look up to if that is the case wow this is a very positive card for you pile number 1 yes you will get back together as i said maybe they are thinking that you are doing very well without them they look at you like a strong person they look at you as a independent fin you are financially doing well you are handling the situation you are holding down holding down the fort you are very strong and independent and maybe you have and this strength of yours looks like that you don't need them looks like that you don't have any weaknesses or you don't miss them or you don't want them back and they are they are, might have that doubt in their mind that if they try to approach you or if they try to come back to you you will reject them or you will uh, say that you don't need them so that might be the mass communication you both need to sit down talk about this and find out that what exactly is happening this looks like a big celebration uh, for you so whatever was whatever happened whatever came to light which created trouble which created the kind of drift in between each other the fight and which separated you will you know you thought about it and now that thing that issue feels small in front of a long term view in front of you know your whole relationship or in front of your feelings for each other that issue looks smaller now now that issue is not that significant you were angry they were angry you had your distance you had your issues you had to talk it out you had to you know it that this that alone time that lonely time thinking about the situation gave you time to think about if this relationship is worth the tr trouble if this relationship is really good enough to go back and this is a very positive card to say that yes it is definitely good for good enough for to come back together good enough to talk there are three people in this in this scenario but this is not a third party situation this might be a helpful friend a mutual friend or a mutual family or some somebody in your family who wants you to come back together maybe even your child so someone a third person wants you to come back together and that they can help you start that communication again they can help you get in contact again they can help you reconnect and resolve the issue so my suggestion for you pile number 1 is that when you start talking again be very honest be very open don't bring the hurt again and again remember that bringing back that situation again and again is going to just deepen the wound what you can do is you know that that bad thing happened and you make it clear that you do you will not tolerate any kind of lies or any kind of deception or anything which was hidden which will be hidden any secrets in your relationship further on you want to have a very honest and loyal relationship you are not restarting the new relationship uh, you know you are not restarting your old relationship you are starting a complete new marriage if on a complete new relationship i said marriage maybe it is a marriage for few people even if you were separated and coming back together with your husband or your wife what you are doing over here is that rela that old relationship has ended that old relationship no longer exist now you are starting a complete new relationship where you know what went wrong where you know what was the issue and now with this with with the knowledge and with the maturity with the growth with the understanding that everything is not always rosy shiny and Uh, like uh, you don't f fall head over heels with the person you accept them with their 
वॉट एवर द इशूज व with the with that knowledge you come forward you talk with them you tell them that you want complete honesty you want complete loyalty you know that you can also survive on your own with this power you move into a new relationship with the same person you are starting a new relationship a new phase in your marriage or a new relationship so this is a positive sign for you pile number 1 yes you will reconcile maybe you need a third party's help in this your child your parent your friend someone who wants you to connect with them someone who is thinking that you are better together you should be together so that is the situation for you pile number 1 i hope it resonates and i hope thing works out for you i understand that sometimes relationships get really complicated and hurtful but um now you have the knowledge you have the growth you have the wisdom you have the lesson and you know that you are strong enough to be on your own and with this power this new power when you enter back in this relationship you can demand loyalty you can demand the kind of attention you can keep your points very clear keep yourself clear that this is what you want and give the chance for your person also to put their point what they want from you as well make it something which will be mutually beneficial make it something where you help each other grow which will be so strong that nothing will create trouble in your life something which will give long term benefits something where you can be stronger together and develop a better relationship and some one a third person may help you in this situation transform and unveil your gifts so there is a big transformation which is happening you have already transformed we have so many animals here and we have animals over here as well so maybe animal spirits are something which are helping you you may have pets with this person or you or the other person may have pets and animal spirits want you to come together they want you to reconcile and you are you have transformed into a complete new person when you were with this person you were more carefree you were more like a happy go lucky kind of kind of a person and when that when that break happened when that distance happened you suddenly went into a more mature or more serious person someone who was more practical and now you have transformed into a complete new person who knows how to shift between you know seasons and how to shift between situations and how to take charge of their own life so now you have grown into a mature person you have transformed even they have transformed now they know that uh, how difficult it is to be without you and how how they, how much they really want to be with you and they cannot keep any secrets or keep anything hidden from you so definitely they also have transformed what more messages the oracles have divine alchemy Div holy amethyst divine alchemy move beyond current challenges focus on what you desire the current challenge is the current situation which are keeping you uh, in this lonely state which are keeping you alone which are ke making you feel that whatever happened was wrong if you are only focusing on what went wrong then it is not going to help you you need to focus on what you desire you have the power to manifest this new reality this new phase in your relationship and you can create what you want so if you want to be with, back with this person you need to focus on that you need to focus on what you desire you need to be very vocal about it be very open about it and honest about it to god to universe to your friends to your family to this person that yes i understand what went wrong what were whatever happened was wrong but i am interested in getting back with my person be very open honest about it focus on what you desire it is not you it is not not that you are taking a step down or you are actually being a bigger person you are giving them a chance to understand that you they can approach you they might be in that situation where they want to approach you they think about approaching you but they get afraid that you will reject them 
and they are not take, making that move because of that so you have the opportunity to focus on what you desire and to bring this into reality and the holy amethyst means the amethyst gem will help you bring this into reality so if you have this gem you can wear it in jewelry keep it under your pillow hold it while you meditate hold it while you uh, think about this person you can even uh, take a color print out of a amethyst picture and keep it with on your vision board that also will help you bring out the power of amethyst or the energies of amethyst to help you manifest this relationship back in your life but you might feel that this is something which is too good to be true or too good to just give up and that that is what you are thinking and even this person wants to come back but they don't have the confidence that you will take them back or you will accept them back maybe you went through a very bad fight and now they don't have that confidence to come back and you need to be very vocal and very clear that you are interested in them coming back wow soulmates beautiful you are soulmates of each other you are meant to be with each other you have to shed that old relationship shed that whatever happened maybe you know each other from a very young age like uh, childhood sweethearts school uh, sweethearts you know uh, that kind of uh, relationship maybe from teenage maybe from young age uh, you know each other you started this relationship and then something went wrong and now you have what you now you have turned into a complete transformed shape shifted so now you are not the caterpillar you are not that teenager or you are not that young person anymore now you have shape shifted into a mature person someone very new someone very different a cat caterpillar and butterfly looks nothing alike if no if people don't know that the caterpillar was transformed into a butterfly they won't even think that they are the same species right so the same way the butterfly um, is a complete new person you are a complete new grown mature person right now a more awakened person you have transformed into shape shifted into this new person and so is so is your so is your so is your person as well so is your soulmate as well so you don't have to hold on to the old anymore whatever happened you don't have to bring back that thing again and again and keep reminding your person or keep reminding yourself that you did this in the past you did that then the, in that year you did this in that year you did that no you have to end that relationship completely end that marriage completely and start a new marriage new relationship with the same person you are getting what i'm saying you are start, you are connecting with the same person you are reconciling with the same person but don't bring the past energies with you leave that baggage like you're moving into a new house a complete new house and you're not taking any of your old furniture nothing you're not taking anything old from the new from the old house you are selling everything and you're moving into this new house which will be filled with new memories new experiences new furniture new everything so you're completely starting fresh with the same person that will help you feel understand you know get in have a beautiful relationship again with the same person falling all over in love with that person again wipe out that old whatever was painful it was not good it made you separate it made you you know go different paths it was not good at all you don't have to hold on to it because you spent years in it i was that was a 10 years relationship that was a 20 years relationship no let it go the years don't matter at all the intensity matters and the intensity in this new relationship which we you will start will be so strong so good that it will be hap that it will be filled with happiness and light you don't have to bring the old baggage in this new relationship at all you don't have to keep making yourself feel guilty and make the other person feel guilty for whatever happened in past 
you both did mistake you both learned a lesson and now you now you don't have to drag that in your new relationship in your new marriage in your new relationship with the same person so that is the message for you pile number 1 i hope you found some information in this and uh, i this is a very positive card for you maybe some a third person third party person will help you reconnect will help you get together and i hope things work out for you and you do come together and you do live a life like this because after all you are the soulmates this is a very nice card to get in this situation in this scenario and i'm very happy for you both these cards are positive so yes you will reconcile yes you will start this relationship again but my suggestion to you is let go of all the old things just leave it away just keep it back just don't pull that new baggage and start fresh like falling in love all over again like your memory was wiped out and now you are starting new Give, bring in new experiences new everything new in this relationship a energy of new a energy of beauty but now you know that you will not tolerate any kind of lies any kind of hidden secrets where you work where something was not revealed to you now you know that that will not be tolerated in the new relationship so make your make yourself clear that what you are what you want from the other person and take their opinion as well that what they want from this new relation from this new relationship don't repeat the same mistakes so that is it for you pile number 1 i hope you hope this resonates with you it is a positive pile and thank you so much for being here i'll see you in my next one welcome pile number 2 so let's see if you will reconcile what will happen what happened in your situation will you get back together with your person this is for those who are interested in getting back with their with their person with who they were earlier and not with some, not not a new relationship those who are interested in a new relationship and don't want to get back with their with their exes you can check out the other readings on my uh, channel this was a requested reading and uh, let's see what the message is what the spirits have to say about pile number 2 spirits please help me understand what pile number 2 needs to know about their situation will they reconcile will they reconcile will they reconcile Okay, thinking. You are thinking about the situation. There is something, some new information, some new message which is coming to you, but you are not accepting it, or you are not even looking towards it. So you are you are thinking about what happened in the past. You are just concentrating on the past, and you are not looking at what is happening right now. What is coming in new? Wow, this card is nice card to get. so you are you have worked on your finances you have made yourself independent you have become you have become a fiercely independent person now you have taken care of your financial situation you have abundance luxury or you are moving towards an abundant luxurious life and you are you have become financially independent you may have a pet who you really love or your person has maybe this is your person's energy that when this separation happened when you went into the separation or whatever break you took your one of you is only focusing on the past and not looking at anything new in their career in their life in whatever is happening just concentrating on the past and the other one is completely devoted to their money to their finances to what they want to to their career so that is how these two are that is how i can see both of you so which one are you are you the one who is completely devoted to their career to making money to your financial situation or are you who is only focusing on the past and not letting anything new come in be it relationship be it uh, education be it studies be it career nothing new you are accepting you are just focusing and living the past again and again in your mind so that that is the situation so one of you is doing that and the other one is really focused on their career wow a page of love yes you will accept 
this love this which new love now this can be a complete new love or this can be a your person approaching you again and you have stood up you have accepted that new love look at this this is like the universe is giving you this new opportunity this new love this can be a complete new love or your person coming back and you have accepted this and you already have the financial abundance or you will approach this person and they will accept the love and there is a financial abundance situation in this maybe this break was for you to concentrate on your career or for your person to concentrate on your career so there was some kind of career growth some kind of promotion some kind of job they took or you took maybe this separation happened because of because of a job one of you had to relocate yes a complete 360 degree change is happening so currently if you are in this situation where you are lonely where you are isolated where you don't like where you are you are just thinking about your past and nothing new is happening nothing new is coming you want to you can't wait to have that back in your life then that is going to happen for you because this is a complete change so your so your isolation period is ending your loneliness is ending you are getting back either with the same person or with a new person so it's going to be different for different people i cannot say for sure that this is the same person or the new person but there is a cup of love coming towards you so it depends on your manifestation power i always say that god always keeps saying that as you wish as you wish so you have the manifestation power either you want the same person that you want that i don't care about anybody else i don't care what kind of prince charming is coming in my life i want my person back so if you are in that situation you will manifest that person but if you think that i'm okay if the same person comes or a new person comes i just need somebody loyal somebody honest somebody who will value me so if you are in that situation maybe this is a new new relationship so it is going to be It's different for different people it is a general reading so take as this resonates with you stop looking at what happened and stop thinking what can happen stop creating the new your new reality in your mind either cases you are not going to be lonely either cases you are not going to be in this period of just thinking and just being uh, being in the past but being into a very abundant life because the new person the new relationship which is starting either with the new person or a new or the old person this new phase of your relationship is going to bring in abundance is going to bring in money both these cards have abundance in them so there is definitely a step up in your finances when this relationship starts either with the same person or with a new person a financial step up is happening either that your person had to go away go to a new town new place new country for their for their job for their career or you had to go and that period which was away from each other you focused one of you focused on your finances focused on your education on getting a better job on getting promoted on better investments and that has that has brought the results the good results the sweet results which you were looking for the results have came positive in your in uh, in your favor and now you have a good financial situation so either your person will come back to you offer you a cup but now this cup is not only love but also money also abundance also stability maybe earlier they were not in the situation to marry you and that is why they took a break or they went back because they were not confident that they could be a good provider or they are good enough for you and now when they come back they have money they have the ability this person looks like he's helpless he is no he's just focused on the past he doesn't have anything with him and this person looks very well dressed in a better situation where in a better place in a better position is standing confidently has a has a cup of love plus fish is about finances fish is about abundance fish is prosperity so they are coming in with not only cup of love but with also a better financial situation maybe now they are in the in the they have the stability or they have the confidence to approach you for marriage 
to take this relationship at a next stage so in either situation be this a new person or the same this actually looks like the same person the same person in a better situation the same person with uh, a better financial situation a, a glow up so this might be a new per same person who comes with a better financial situation now and they are approaching you but now they want a serious relationship a commitment engagement marriage something like that so that is what is coming towards you and in either situation this is going to be of complete 360 degree in your change in your life it is going to be a destiny this is a very nice card to get this is luck this is karmic reward this is life cycle this is a turning point in your life a destiny a marriage is a turning point a marriage is your destiny a marriage is also good luck or karmic reward so that that might be something which is coming for you so it is a positive sign yes you will reconcile with this person yes you will get back with this person and this person is not only coming with love this time but with also a financial stability with also a long term commitment nine is almost completion so this is this is coming very close to you it will it is happening in a very near future my suggestion to you is stop focusing on what happened what went wrong but start working on your own own financial situation your own career your own health focus on your own take care of your own self now suppose if i know people get panicked when they know that they are go they have they get engaged and now they have to get married and they start thinking that oh i need to take care of myself i need to get fit i need to fit in a fit in a smaller size dress i need to get my skin clear i need to have my hair i want my hair longer and they start panicking and they start putting themselves through hell to find that kind of you know perfection in their looks in their in the in whatever they are trying to achieve you you need to start working on that right now instead of making yourself go crazy after they come and after they uh, propose the engagement what you can do is start focusing on your health on your on your career from right now when right after you listen to this reading because a cup of love is coming towards you and it depends on your own what you want your own manifestation you want the same person or you want a complete new person so whatever in either cases it is going to be good for you this person is financially well off this person is a young person this person is someone who is interested in a long term long term relationship this will be your destiny a turning point in your life a, a point for good this is something which is happening for your good so start taking care of your health start taking care of your career start taking care of yourself before this person comes in instead of focusing on the past instead of daydreaming of what happened what went wrong this is a positive uh, pile for you pile number 2 i'm going to go and see if i can get some oracle messages also for you some further guidance that what you can do in meanwhile when this is happening this is going to happen very fast it is 9 is almost completion this is almost coming to yes embrace the energy of peace broken arrow you might be in the en in the energy of broken right now like this broken arrow where you were you are just thinking about the past you are just focused on the past that what went wrong what happened and the oracles the angels and ancestors want you to know that you need to embrace the energy of peace you need to find peace that whatever happened was a karmic lesson unfolding for you something which was important for your own personal growth for your own personal development people always think that lonely time or alone time is not good is something boring and they don't want to be alone they would but alone alone time lonely time is for our own development for our own growth whenever you get time to be with yourself then you can do something which will help you become a better version of yourself so embrace the energy of peace embrace this time which you got which you are alone at at present where you can enjoy the independence enjoy the freedom 
learn something new sharpen your skills take care of your health take care of your beauty take care of yourself be the best version you can be because there is divine love coming to you there is something extremely beautiful coming to you this person looks so well dressed this person looks so confident so happy they are coming with their not only the love of the cup of love but also and also financial financial support i i got two cards for you pile number 2 let's see amethyst amethyst was there this is not amethyst this is lady portia but the amethyst was there in pile number 1 maybe pile number 1 will also resonate with you so lady portia is about divine order so this is happening as per divine order this is your destiny this is something which is meant to happen this will happen you don't have to keep focusing on what will happen what where what went wrong you don't have to keep changing you cannot control anybody else you can only focus on yourself so believe in divine order believe it is happening you can pray to lady portia you can pray to whatever god or whatever angels whatever energies you believe in do what you feel is right an important lesson is unfolding yes this lonely period this alone period this breakup was a lesson unfolding a karmic lesson unfolding something which was important for your soul development both of your soul development not one person soul development both of your soul development your heart is healing you can wear amethyst like this lady portia she is wearing amethyst you can wear amethyst to bring this energy faster you can keep amethyst below under your pillow you can hold it while you meditate so amethyst might be might bring you luck even the wearing the pur color purple might bring you luck so divine order lady portia believe that there is divine order believe that there is something divine something which we cannot understand happening um, uh, you know and which we cannot see right now but something is unfolding you just have to hold on and keep hope and believe that something is happening for you el moria awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love so the universe is with you as i said the universe is is with you you need to wear a cloak of protection and love so keep yourself protected from any kind of negativity be it within your mind or in in uh, be it outside if someone is negative around you telling you that it uh, good you that you don't you're not with that person anymore this that and creating doubts in your mind then you have to keep yourself dist away from that kind of negativity and protect yourself Pro wear a cloak of protection so maybe you need to protect your relationship when you come together as well as you are going to be financially well off and you you restart this relationship maybe someone will be envious of your situation maybe someone will have an evil eye towards you so you need to protect your yourself your relationship your partner by doing whatever protection rituals you can do and by wearing a cloak of protection so you can pray to archangel michael to surround you with a cloak of protection you can take a bath in salt water the rock salt the unfil unfiltered salt i'm not talking about uh, the refined salt at all unrefined unfiltered pure salt which we get from the sea which 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 didn't went through any chemical process but the pure salt uh, sea salt you can take and put it in your bath and take a bath with it because to remove any kind of negative energies around you and the universe is with you awakening presence so you are awakening to your re reality meditate but don't focus on what went wrong don't rethink and re experience those situations which happened in the past let them go and welcome the new new reality welcome the new energies if you keep focusing only on what happened in the past you will not give space for the new to come in so some kind of awakening is also happening let's see what else what message is there for you pile number 2 it is a positive sign yes you are reconnecting with your person and you have the chance you have the choice to either accept the same person or find a complete new person oh wow divine masculine so this is your divine masculine 
yes this is the same person who's coming in high chances that it is the same person who's coming back in your life and this person is your divine masculine they are getting financial step up they are becoming an emperor they are becoming better in their financial situation in their health in their in their mental situation in their emotions in their spirituality they are becoming awakened they are becoming stronger so this person might be a leo you might be a leo they are rising above their challenges they are going beyond your challenges they are the divine masculine they will bring in happiness they will bring in strength they will bring in wealth they will bring in the protection which you need look at the growth of this person right from being uh, someone who's just in the past not that strong not that awakened not happy then someone who's confident taking charge moving ahead feeling better about themselves got some financial stability and now the page has turned into a, the emperor very strong very positive someone who has achieved some kind of success some kind of authoritative stage some kind of good position the sun is shining bright over you so yes this broken arrow this broken situation will be mended for your better will have a better result will definitely work for your work for your good there is a big 365 degree change a big destiny turnover happening very strong card for you pile number 2 this is your divine masculine and to attract this person back in your life you need to be the divine feminine you need to be strong as well el moria is also a very strong um, light worker so you need to pray to what whoever light worker whoever energy you believe in become the divine feminine become someone strong enough to attract the divine masculine again in your life to be the queen of this person's life so definitely you can be uh, back with this person you are getting back with this person but get out of the energies of feeling broken get out of the energies of feeling helpless and focus on what you can do how you can make yourself a better version of you be the divine feminine embrace the energy of you know femininity of creativity you believe in divine order believe this will happen for you believe that this big change is coming for you that is it for you pile number 2 uh, it was a positive reading yes they are coming for you i'll see you in my next one thank you again for being here welcome pile number 3 let's see if you will reconcile with your person this is for those who are interested in getting back with their with their uh, person with their ex or with whoever they were earlier and not for those who are looking sorry who are looking for new love because for them i have a lot of many other love readings on my channel you can watch them watch that for only for those who are interested in getting back with their person i'm doing a reading for them so let's see what is happening in your situation angels please help me understand pile number 3 situation will they reconcile will they reconnect will they get back sorry sorry will they get back with their person please help me understand will pile 3 reconcile will pile 3 get back with their person will pile 3 reconcile star wow hope there is hope have hope have faith there is hope that there is still hope in this relationship there is still some kind of renewal which will happen someone is spiritually awakened one of you is spiritually very awakened one of you might be very well known in their work in their career king of wands so there is passion in this relationship still passion there is a passion for each other even if you went on a break even if you are not together okay so this might be someone who like a same sex relationship because we got the two kings or this might be where both of you were like like ha both of you have a strong masculine energy 
and that that was the clash actually we need we have both masculine as well as feminine energy in, in everyone be it a man be it a woman we have both masculine and feminine energy but always in a relationship one one has a strong masculine and the other has a strong feminine it can be anyways so maybe both of you had some kind of clashes one of you was very sharp with their words one of you want may was someone who wanted to be very sharp very like very straightforward and the other one also is very hot headed so that might be the reason when you why you fought or why you separated but there is still hope because there is still a lot of passion between both of you yes this is a very positive card to get so ace of pentacles ace of pentacles is my success card if you see if you have seen my tarot timeline videos then ace of pentacles is my success card so you are you have a very strong relationship but you also have a very passionate relationship where you even fight with each other a lot maybe both of you raise a lot raise your voices maybe both of you don't agree on something maybe both of you are very some like opinionated and want to make it done as as the same way you don't want any kind of compromises any kind of um understanding you just want to prove your point so there is this energy which i can feel but you have a very strong feelings for each other you know that you can only survive with that this person you know that you can have a beautiful relationship with this person so one of you might be very well known in the in your career in your life where aquarius energy over here so we have mm, aquarius libra gemini and we have aries leo sagittarius over here and we have pentacles as well so might have earth sign in your sun moon rising also so that is the situation where both of you are being arrogant actually and not compromising there is not a big problem in your relationship the only problem is that you need to be more accepting more flexible more cooperative because you both are strong you both make a power couple you both can achieve any kind of success you both can start a business together maybe that was the issue which you were fighting on that when you both are trying to start a business start something new start a financial stream start something which will bring in a new opportunity to work a new opportunity to uh, bring uh, to you know start something which will uh, which will turn into a big business so that might be something which started your fights and you cannot accept each other's opinion you want to keep make your point you want to dominate each other so that is the energy there are like you know budding heads like being very like i i want this i want that so that is the scenario but you are meant to be with each other you are strong you can if you try to work together you will create a very prosperous life you your business or whatever you are trying to do together financially will be very well known will be successful a prosperous life is ahead of you if you can come together if you you know take it a bit like down you know don't not fight so much or not argue so much try to understand each other's point give each other space to give, to express their opinion to express their feeling so that is the situation which i see and i do think that you can reconcile in fact you have not even se got separated or something you are just not talking to each other like just angry with each other it is not a complete separation like when uh, two siblings don't talk or two do friends don't talk that kind of scenario i'm not saying that you are siblings or friends you are definitely a romantic couple we are only talking about romantic couple over here 
but this is not a complete breakup or a divorce even if it was a divorce even if it was a complete breakup you you can still depend on that person you know that when something happens when you know you both get into trouble you have each other's back you know that you know that you want this person on your side you know that this person will fight for you you have the hope you have the faith you are very much attracted to each other physically there is a strong attraction this red over here is all about strong attraction the wand is all about passion about fire about attraction this looks like the sun to me so definitely happiness definitely success is coming for you and this looks like being very mentally clear being very like you don't hold back when you start talking like you are very sharp tongued you know you don't it doesn't matter to you who you are hurting when you are talking you are you will be you will make your point clear brutally honest kind of honesty is there in this relationship which is actually a good thing which is not bad but you need to understand that words hurt words do hurt so be mindful when you speak with your loved one be mindful that your words will hurt them and it will hurt them more because they have very deep feelings for you and there is still definitely hope in this relationship you will definitely get back with them but the only thing that you both have to do is try to understand each other's point of view try to compromise somewhere try to adjust try to see what is good for both of you and leave that tendency to be wrong or to be right sorry leave that attitude that to prove your point to be right always time to reflect mirror guardian yes you need to you need to see yourself first you need to see how you are you you have to stop pointing on that person on your person pointing and trying to look at their point their uh, what what is it called their shortcomings and what why they are wrong and what they did wrong and try to reflect on your own behavior on your own attitude that are you being helpful are you helping the situation or are you creating the trouble or are you being someone who started this whole mess who you look at your own attitude also reflect try to find out what what you did why you did if that person did something wrong yes you made made it very clear that you did this wrong you went this wrong this is you what you did we had to face losses because of you or we had to do this you said this in front of that so you are being very vocal about their their shortcomings about the mistakes they did but you are not even considering what you what what wrong you did or where, how you you are pointing out or how you are being very sharp and very brutally honest with them is creating more trouble it is not a one side problem both of you have shortcomings both of you have some kind of issues but only pointing at other person is not going to help this situation you need to reflect and understand where you are standing wrong also and how you can correct this and bring this energy together because you are stronger together because you have the potential to start something big something beautiful a new opportunity a new financial growth a new financial situation so you need to reflect on your shortcomings as well not only theirs take time to reflect wow this jumped out so i'm going to take it green tara supreme protection you are protected cords are being cut move beyond limitation trust so you need to trust this person and some cords are being cut so maybe you are cutting some cords with maybe friends who created this trouble maybe exes who created this fight in between maybe something some business something which created this issue you are cutting your cords with that you are burning those bridges and you are protected move beyond limitation so you are protected don't feel that you you don't have any support from the universe you definitely have the support you definitely have the protection 
you need to move beyond the limitations of yourself and your person and trust that you are good you are better together trust that it will work in your favor and green you can pray to green tara the third eye over here is open we got this reflection so you need to see deeper in this in this situation in this issue are you really angry on them for doing whatever they did or are you angry on yourself what is the deep situation over here if you need to go for couple counseling go for it if you need to go for individual counseling individual therapy go for that and try to find out what is the deep issue actually what is the issue inside in your heart in your soul which is making you someone who you don't even recognize someone who you really are not you're acting you or your person is acting like a, a complete different person and you need to find what is that limitation move beyond limitation stop pinpointing on your on your person's fault move beyond it yes nobody is perfect yes everybody has their own issues yes everyone has some kind of things they need to improve on they need to change but pointing on only other people's other persons and uh, everybody else's shortcomings and weaknesses is not going to help in your situation you need to move beyond limitations and trust that things will work out the sacred woman wow now this is a strong card to get now the sacred woman was uh, actually a a, le le a legend a story a uh, in the no in the american the native american people they had this legend they have this legend of the sacred woman the white ca buffalo calf woman which where she helped people heal their heart well where she helped people embrace the femininity or understand or help understand how feminine energy how the divine feminine energy is important how nature nurturing caring is important in any in in everyone's life in any situations we have two masculines strong masculine energies over here the masculine energy is very strong in this relationship and you are not giving the feminine energy any help or any support or any importance in your relationship both of you are being very strong very opinionated very action oriented but but you are not being nurturing you are not being caring and you need to focus on being that and you need one of you needs to embrace the role of being divine feminine one of you needs to understand that without love without care without acceptance without creativity a relationship cannot flourish the green tara she looks like the divine feminine right she looks like ma kali ma shakti because she has the third eye over here so she has this creative energy she is filled with so much greenery her heart chakra is healed this there is a heart over here in her hand which is also show which is also spreading light so you need to thaw your heart you need to heal your heart and you need to accept that there is some kind of creative forces some kind of divine feminine energy which you need to work with uh, when you call white buffalo calf woman into your life she will help you do away with self sabotaging behavior yes there is a strong self sabotaging energy in this pile a strong energy where there is actually nothing wrong actually nothing that's that difficult that bad even if it was bad even if it was difficult you have the ability to overcome it it is not not something where you should throw away this relationship so she will help you do away with self sabotaging behavior and help you to have the courage to do what you what you know you need to do so this is a very strong light worker for you pile number 3 you can pray to the sacred woman pray to the white buffalo calf woman you can learn about her on internet you will find a lot of information about this legend i will read about this a bit from the book so that even i can help you out the native american indian legend of white buffalo calf woman is closely connected to the 
to the concept of divine feminine yes divine feminine is here divine feminine is here and you lack that femininity you lack that divine feminine energy in your life i'm not saying that both of you uh, that a woman cannot have the divine masculine energy we have both the energies although it is more extreme than real life sorry oh i'm so sorry her story does send an important message in the legend white buffalo calf woman and halit a man who thinks he can simply embrace her and claim her like a prized piece of property the man who senses her divinity and wild power is spared the same faith because she can see that even though he holds his bow and arrow up to her in fear he respects her power so if if both of you are taking each other for granted one of you or one of you is taking the other for granted it has to stop you need to understand that when a partner when a partnership happens when two people come together you need to respect each other's energy you need to respect each other like they like they are your counterpart your equal and not think not take the other one for granted white buffalo calf brings an important reminder to us today about the potential destructive forces that are available when the feminine is treated as tribal in modern life this applies to both men and women meaning that women must be prepared to value themselves and act upon this if they want to be respected by their male counterparts white buffalo calf women did not play games make idle threats or pretend to be something she was not she did not compromise herself or her integrity for mere physical security or a life that was less than fulfilling and by annihilating the disrespectful warrior she made it clear to all others that her power was not to be doubted in modern life this is played out in a way a woman treats herself and allows her to to be treated when a woman truly respects herself and acts upon her feeling men will naturally respect her and leave her alone when you call white buffalo calf woman into your life she will help you do away with self sabotaging behavior and help you have the courage to do what you want what you know you need to do so there is a strong lacking of the feminine energy in this relationship and you need to embrace the femininity embrace the creativity embrace the caring nature and if you if you are feeling threatened if you feel that you need to keep your shield up keep your sword up and you're not respected you're not getting the kind of attention then maybe you don't have to be in this relationship who said that you have to mend who said that you have to reconcile so it is going to be different for everyone so reflect think if this is something which you really want if this is something where you are really respected where you really think you will have a better life with this person because we are talking about long term we are not talking about few weeks or few months we are talking about a lifetime over here so if reflect you want to spend the lifetime with this person then talk with them make it clear and if it is just a physical attraction and mentally you are not vibing mentally you are not on the same level just a phys- mere physical relationship then you should consider letting it go and wait for something better to come in your life but for as far as i can see this is a hopeful situation you definitely have passion you definitely have an opportunity to have a prosperous life together even start a business together reflect think what is best for you and act as per that you are definitely being vocal about your your opinions but give the other person space also to express their opinions their feelings consider both both feelings in this situation so it is a yes you will reconcile with this person but for very few if you are not respected if you have to he- hold your shield up if you are threatened if you are abused if this is not a good this was not a good relationship then for the those who were not happy but felt that you have to be back with that person 
for those only i will say that no don't get back with that person so it's going to be different for different people and take as this resonates and uh, do let me know what was your situation and what is happening right now and i'll see you in my next one thank you so much for being here